Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some very important and urgent iOS 13 through 13.3 jailbreak news to share with those of you who do own newer devices, like those powered by Apple's A12 CPU or A13, so really anything newer than the iPhone 10, which of course is able to jailbreak with CheckRain, anything lower than the A11 CPU, but if you own a device powered by an A12, or A13, again, anything from Apple's iPhone XS and XR series up to their iPhone 11 series, this video is mostly for you. However, I'm also going to talk about why those with the iPhone 10 and lower should also avoid updating to iOS 13.3. Even though, yes, you can jailbreak iOS 13.3, which I did a tutorial on yesterday with CheckRain, I don't want you guys to update, and here's exactly why. And also, if you have already updated, I want you guys to downgrade. Stay tuned for a downgrade tutorial to go back from iOS 13.3 to iOS 13.2.3. That is going to be extremely time sensitive. So subscribe if you have yet to, to be notified the very second that tutorial is out. And that way you'll be able to take advantage of it and hopefully be able to jailbreak in the near future. And if you're watching this video at a later point, I will have a card in it to that downgrade tutorial, which should already be out. I'm going to be working on it as soon as this video goes up. So with that said, what exactly are we talking about? Well, we're focused on iOS 13.3 and something that Apple actually graced us with because believe it or not, it's fantastic news. As confirmed by hacker Pwn to Own, he tweeted out earlier this morning, quote, if you are on A12 through A13, again, the devices that we already mentioned, which will be listed down below in the description as well, either stay if you are already jailbroken, meaning for A12 owners, he wants you guys to stay on iOS 12.4.1 or lower on your jailbroken state. Really, that's up to you whether or not you guys want to upgrade because now there is a very, very small window. Of course, we don't know when a jailbreak will be out if you do decide to upgrade. So of course, do that at your own risk, knowing that you are in fact going to lose your jailbreak and just stay on a currently unjailbroken firmware until such a utility is released. But then he continues saying, quote, stay if you were on 13.2.3 or lower, downgrade to 13.2.3 if you were on 13.2.3 three. I will get on it as soon as a new kernel exploit is available. Be patient. Do not update. Stay on the lowest version possible. And then follow that up with, in case you miss it, iOS 13.3 patched several kernel bugs. This is the blessing I'm talking about because as a direct result of this, someone is going to create or adapt these kernel vulnerabilities into exploits, guys, that can be rolled into jailbreak utilities. And Pontone has already confirmed his intent on creating a jailbreak or rather probably updating on cover to include those kernel vulnerabilities, ideally for newer devices since it would function on everything that is running iOS 13.2.3 or lower. We're going to talk about why in a second, but first let's look at Apple's security updates page for iOS 13.3. So this is just Apple's default security updates page and it contains links to all of their software releases that do in fact contain security updates. So let's go ahead and tap on the one specific for iOS 13.3 and iPadOS 13.3. So when we do tap it, we are directed to this new page right here, and we're interested in two fixes here the ones that are kernel related. So first and foremost, these affect everything from the iPhone 6s and up, iPad Air 2 and up, iPad mini 4 and up, and the iPod Touch 7th generation. So really anything that can run iOS 13. And for the impact, they say an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. This is absolutely key, guys. These are kernel vulnerabilities that can lead to kernel exploits, which in turn can lead to a jailbreak sub iOS 13.3, because remember, these things are fixed in iOS 13.3, which means that every firmware lower than 13.3 does contain these specific vulnerabilities. And of course, we have the exact same impact listed for the second one as well. The first of which, titled CVE 2019-8833, was discovered and disclosed to Apple by researcher Ian Beer of Google 
Schools Project Zero team, who has been responsible for a number of kernel vulnerability discoveries in the past, which have then directly led to new jailbreak releases. And the second one was discovered by two sources cited as Kim Straddle of Cognite and Dr. Silvio of Cesar InfoSec. I'm really sorry if I butchered the pronunciation on any of those, but guys, how awesome is this? The best firmware to be on obviously is going to be iOS 13.2.3 or lower, and even better, if you are on an A12 or A13 device and you're running something like iOS 13.1.3 or lower, that's even better because the exact same thing happened when Apple released iOS 13.2. They closed an earlier kernel vulnerability and everything we've said about the ones we're focused on today is still true for that. So to simplify, basically there are extra bugs that can be exploited on those lower firmwares. So even better than iOS 13.2.3 or lower is iOS 13.1.3. However, if you're already past 13.1.3, don't worry about it because you simply cannot go back to that firmware no matter what. Apple has stopped signing it and the exact same thing is going to be true about iOS 13.2.3. Eventually, Apple's going to stop signing that as well and that is the last firmware that contains these two kernel vulnerabilities, which again can lead to a jailbreak. We may receive a jailbreak for A12 and A13 on 13.1.3 sooner than 13.2.3. We just don't know, but this might be enough if someone creates an exploit out of these to receive a jailbreak on 13.2.3. I'm going to be keeping you guys covered every single step of the way. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. And also, if you want to be notified the very second a new jailbreak utility is out, bookmark our A12 and A13 jailbreak status checker page. This red no will change to a green yes once the jailbreak has been released. So again, that will be linked down below in the description as well. These are very, very exciting times, guys. Honestly, I wasn't expecting the number of kernel vulnerabilities that we've already had disclosed to Apple to be disclosed to Apple this early on in iOS 13's life cycle. It's fantastic. We're going to get more uncover style jailbreaks relatively soon. And that's also why I recommend those of you who do have an A11 device or lower to downgrade or at least not update to iOS 13.3 if you're lower than that, simply because instead of actually check rain, you will be able to use something like Uncover once it is updated to actually have a semi-untethered jailbreak instead of a semi-tethered jailbreak. You know how with CheckRain you actually have to plug it into your computer and rerun CheckRain to essentially re-exploit it and to use any of your jailbreak stuff? Yeah, that's not going to apply and you will in theory be able to do an on-device jailbreak so long as there are developer enterprise certificates floating around. So, Fantastic news all around for the jailbreak community. Like I said, I'm going to let you guys know of any and all developments. Stay tuned for that downgrade tutorial. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.